I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Rishi Kumar. He is co-founder and co-CEO at Cashable. Rishi, it's so wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me, Judy. Great, well, I am looking forward to chatting with you, but before we do that, quick note to the viewers, this interview is for information and purposes only. The NYSE doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. All right, so Rishi, tell me about Cashable, your mission, and how you came up with the idea. Sure. Cashable is a financial wellness platform that's offered to large employers uh, for use by their employees as an employee benefit, much like health insurance or gym memberships or what have you. Um, and the cornerstone of our platform is a personal loan product that employees can use if they have any financial emergency in their lives. Um, and aside from that, we also provide other resources to sort of supplement that. Um, our platform is currently offered at about 200 employers that represent nearly 3 million employees in America. Uh, that's all the way from governments to uh, nonprofits like universities, hospitals, large corporates, um, all kinds of people. And our mission is to deliver financial wellness and socially responsible credit to working America. Uh, you know, in my case, the way we came about it is uh, both myself and my co-founder, Inat, are both immigrants in the country. We had, you know, we came here to get a good education, MIT for myself, Columbia for her, but with no credit. And it was it was tough to get our first apartment leases, cars, what have you, every little thing. And we realized that credit scoring system is in an inadequate way to address the needs of your average American. And how can we look beyond that? And uh, for us, the way to do that was to use employment-oriented data to supplement credit and to be able to deliver better answers. So that's how we do it. Okay. All right, so now, Rishi, how do you use alternative data to make lending decisions? So all of our work is done within the employer context. So we are doing for credit and financial services what, let's say, group health plans did for physical health, we're doing for financial health. For example, your insurance policy that NICE provides for you is probably a lower cost, better policy than what you could buy individually on an Obamacare exchange. And that's because that insurer can underwrite this group as a whole and make a determination of risk for this group. Know that there'll be less adverse selection, likely healthier people. And we try to do the same thing for credit. So we look at employers, their standing, um, longevity of employment, stability of income, and we use that to supplement our underwriting. And we have tight integrations into employer HR systems as well as payroll. So we use on the one hand the HR data for decisioning, and on the other hand, the payroll integrations for repayments. So all the repayments are automatic. It makes for more successful borrowers, higher quality loans, lower default rates, all of which we can translate into a lower cost for that consumer, and maybe even more importantly, saying a lot more yeses. Uh, so you know, the majority of working class America today that is you know, an employee at any employer is non-prime, which just inherently makes them out of the scope of most traditional financial services, but also a lot of the large fintechs that sort of cater to the well-heeled, you know, tech-savvy uh, sort of American. You know, we finance shipbuilders, postal workers, teachers, nurses, and everyone else. <laughs> okay. All right. So talk to me about the resources that you offer to Americans to improve financial wellness beyond access to low-cost loans. So, you know, again, kind of going with my healthcare analogy, just like if you were an employer, you would provide insurance for when things go wrong. And you think about that as sort of palliative care, like something to put the band-aid to fix something that went wrong. And our loan product sort of serves that purpose. It's the safety net for when things go wrong. But separate from that, you need to plan for preventative care. So how to stay healthy all the rest of the time. And you might be doing that through gym membership, through yoga classes, what have you, eating better. And we try to do the same thing for people's financial health. So we provide one-on-one -on -one financial counseling, credit monitoring, financial literacy resources, and all of that comes for free for employers that offer our product. So that sets people on a better, safer financial path for themselves, while the loan product serves as a safety net uh, should something bad happen, despite what other planning you might do. All right, well, Rishi, love talking with you. Thanks for joining me so much on NYSE Floor Talk. Thank you, Judy, it's great to be here. What, so much great energy here, I love it. <laughs> great, thank you. Cool.